Hi, a film I've been looking forward to seeing for some time, I caught up with recently, and that was The Trial of the Chicago 7. It's a historical, very fictionalised version of what happened after the 1968 Democratic Convention in the United States, where widespread protests about the Vietnam War erupted into violence due to uh, extremely heavy-handed near fascistic police brutality. Um, but the story focuses on the trial of the supposed seven ringleaders, a group of disparate people who barely knew each other and were accused of uh, all kinds of outrageous uh, crimes of trying to destabilize the American government and so forth. Um, the film is not good. It's written and directed by Aaron Sorkin, whose reputation as a screenwriter is supposedly uh, beyond compare, but I found the script to be extremely weak, um, particularly because of how high-handed it is and clumsy in its approach. The, uh, the protagonists are lionised as heroic despite their flaws, but the villains are demonised to an almost absurd, ex absurd extent. The judge in the case, played by Frank Langella, is uh, a, a cartoonish ogre. Uh, we know nothing about him, uh, but we see so much of the background of the other characters that it, it feels like very obvious bias. And make no mistake, I'm very much on the side of the defendants, but it seems odd that the film is so much about these people being denied a fair trial when we're not even seeing both sides of the argument. Uh, the prosecuting counsel also, is, is a, despite being a real character, his background is almost completely fictionalised, as is his behaviour. And the result is a film that is very much pandering to the audience's politics and not actually recounting a true story. It reminds me very much of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody in forcing a true story through a meat grinder, changing character beh behaviour, fictionalising real events, outright lying to the audience just to fit predetermined story beats. Um, it's dishonest and extremely lazy. Um, I would have happily watched uh, a film, you know, another hour longer on the subject if it was telling a true story, but this is so fictionalised and false and phony that uh, it was a struggle to get through the whole thing in a single day. Um, there are some very fine performances, ironically. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen as Abby Hoffman, leader of the Youth International Party, known as the Yippies, I thought was very fine, a kind of almost period version of himself. Um, Mark Rylance as the defence lawyer, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as the prosecuting t attorney. Um, there's a cameo by Michael Keaton as the outgoing uh, attorney general who had declined to prosecute the original case because he felt there was no case to answer. And it was only after the Richard Nixon administration came in and decided to make an example of anyone who dissented from the party line that uh, the case moved forward at all. Um, so although it's a reasonably well-directed and very well-acted production, its fundamental intellectual dishonesty um, uh, is galling, and I could not in good conscience recommend it.